Hello, welcome to Dungeon Dwellers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Welcome to our weekly mecha anime review. We'll review uh, mecha anime series. Today we're reviewing the 2002 uh, mecha anime series, Ross Sephon, which came out like 2002, like I said. It's a 26 episode series. It's uh, direct, it, well, it was made by. Um, Bones and Utaka Usubuchi, who uh, was the director. It was written by Chi, uh, Chiaki J. Konoka, Ichiro Okuchi, Hiroshi Onagi, uh, Yochi Inokido, and others. This um, this series is also uh, is directed by Utaka Usubuchi, who also worked on the new Star Blazers show, which I've been mean to review <laughs> uh i will eventually because i i lot i have part one of season one on blu-ray but i can't find the second half which i bought which i might have to buy it again <laughs> which uh it's, it's always fantastic when you have to do that <laughs> uh whatever so this the story for this series it's it's basically another evangelion ripoff which which is also uh um re uh, like kind of like a relaunch of uh, Super Mecha Show from the 1970s, Brave Raiding, which was a uh, Toei Animation show, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So like the story for this show is basically uh, you have th- these race of interdimensional aliens called the Mu, which may or may not have a connection with the people who lived on the Lost Continent of Mu, which was which was referenced in like a couple other uh, mecha shows that reviewed like uh, that we reviewed, um, like Giant Gorg and Dino Mech Guy King. The Mu are pretty much just like Earthlings, but they have blue blood and they have um, these robot mecha. Guardians, which are alive, kind of like in Evangelion. Spoiler alert. <laughs> this, yeah, the story is Mu uh, conquered uh, conquered Tokyo and created this transdimensional barrier around Tokyo. And our main character lives there. His name is um, Iyato Kamina, who is the son of the leader of the Mu. And uh, who's like a painter doesn't know that uh, Earth was conquered by the or partially conquered by the Moodians. He thinks that he was raised to think that it's 2015 uh, and that um, that the rest of the Earth was like destroyed through the nuclear war or whatever. They never explain it. And only Tokyo, Japan is left. It's not till like um, invaders attack Tokyo, and that he gets in contact with this girl who's from the outside of Tokyo called Hiroka, that he realizes, hey, the, there's something going on here, right? So it's part, it's part mystery, part um, romance. There's a lot of romance going on in this show. The main character uh, ba- uh, basically has like. Like, it's almost a harem show when you consider, like, how many potential girlfriends he has in this show. And, like, it kind of turns... And the end of the show kind of uh, is reminiscent of Orgus. The the first Orgus, if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's it's kind of like... It's pretty much... Orgus is, like, part of the Macross Super Dimensional um, line. Where it's, like, it's basically a combination of Gundam... And like Macross, if you haven't seen it, but it's really good if you have if you haven't seen um, Orgus. So the the show it it's a thing where like I don't want to spoil too much because there is some very cool like sci-fi themes going on, a mystery like secret. You got you got like secret societies going on in the show, artificial humans, and then like you have like um, the Mecha because like. At first, our main character is forced to fight against the Moolians, 
at the same time not realizing he himself is a Muyan because the character is kind of a retard in my opinion. <laughs> uh and uh yeah he at first like he only has like support fighters backing up but eventually they have their own mecha which turns out they they straight up steal this from evangelion where that that turns out hey they're also like the um dolans which is what they which what the muians call their mechs right dolans which are like living mecha that are connected that life forces are connected to their pilots so if you kill their pilot uh the 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 dolan dies if the um dolan is destroyed so does its pilot it doesn't even need to be in the robot so my, my problem with this series it kind of steals too much from evangelion to the point where they, you have like the whole thing where like the main character is kind of an introvert um they have you have like the whole like rom you have the romance angle like just like in Evangelion but you have the whole, the whole thing with like he's um, he's fighting like like he's co in constant like conflict with his like well in like Evangelion it was his father here it's his mother Th then there's the also like they rip off the the living Mecca just like in Evangelion. They ri they rip off like a f there's a f point in the series where like the main character is forced to fight a robot that's that uh, if he kills it right it, it might kill the his friend right which they, they straight up s uh, stole that from like Evangelion but in th uh, the the leader tells him you better perform a miracle just like what like. Gendo said to like Shinji when he was forced to fight Evangelion 3 that was possessed by uh well in the m series it was Toji but in like the movie it was like Asuka here it, you have a scene very similar to that but the main character actually does save <laughs> save his uh his friend uh until they they re they copy that story of that plot point again and then he he accidentally kills his friend not without realizing it <laughs> Uh, which was which was a fantastic that was a fantastic episode so just like in other um, super robot shows he uh, his robot gets new powers at first like all he can do is fly with his robot and like smash smash the enemy to pieces <laughs> then he he gets like a like a sword that pops out his fist ranged weapons and then he even has like a bow weapon right and, just like Brave Raiding has. <laughs> um, yeah. And he also has like the force fields too. Just like in Evangelion. Uh, and also. Spoiler alert. The main character trans. Uh, fuses with his robot. And becomes a godlike. Godlike being. So if you're a fan of. Animes where the main character. Turns into a godlike being. At the end of the. The series that also happens here, just like in Evangelion. <laughs> oh, like the, yeah, they they copy too much stuff from uh, Evangelion. But like some of the cool stuff in the show, you have great voice acting by Funimation. That's the one time, one time I'll like uh, give Funimation props. They did a great job dubbing this show back in the day. You got great music. You got some cool mecha designs here. The Vermilions and Rhett Ross Alphon look cool. You got some really cool um, mecha designs, even for the bad guys, especially um, the like his rival characters. Mecha also looks cool, which kind of looks like a black and brown Rassafon, which that was uh, that was interesting. Um, yeah, again, you have some cool. You have some cool like uh, story points here, which I don't want to spoil. Um, not wasn't a, a huge fan of the ending because like the ending, like like I said, he re he like recreates the world, right? Where like him and like uh, another female character get married and have a baby, and there's like a cat character in the show called Bucci who never ages. By the way, she looks like a kitten. When they first get the, get the cat, and then like six to eight months go by, she, she, the cat's still the same. 
And in the new world that our main character creates at the end, in the last episode, the cat is a stuffed animal that his baby uh, plays with. Which I was, as, I, I'm a dog owner now, but like, as, as somebody who used to be a cat owner, that's kind of fucked up in my opinion. <laughs> you recreate the world, but you turn the cat into like a stuffed animal. Wow, that's fucking up. Awful. But like, other than that, there are some cool, f cool uh, things going on with the show. There's a reason why this show is a lot of people's favorite uh, Evangelion ripoff because, because they're like, again, there's cool mech design, design cool sci-fi themes. Like it, 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 the show is more of a seinen than than like a shonen. So that that's also cool. And then there's the you have cool, uh, cool heroic sacrifices at the end of the show from characters that weren't particularly that likable <laughs> so i also enjoyed that uh, i'm giving the show uh 7.5 out of 10 despite my problems it is a cool show all right so the next show we're going to re uh, review is gun parade march and after that um we're going to decide after that we're going to decide now Sorry, I just had something there. Uh, Escavagne. Huh. So a after uh, Gun Parade March, we're going to review Escavagne. All right, guys. All and also, next week, we're going to review more of the uh, Zeta Gundam compilation movies. We still have two and three to review. All right, guys. That's it for today's video. Peace.